You think you know an Xbox when you see one, but you haven't seen this one yet. This thing is fully loaded with everything you will ever want in a nostalgic gaming system. today I wanted to show you a good look at the modded Xbox. I've brought it up many times in my live streams. I talked about it a few times when I used to be Ranger Collector, but those videos were poor quality. Four years later, I get to talk about it in a better light and actually go through it in much more detail than I was able to beforehand. So this Xbox setup was made by someone on e or I bought it off a guy off eBay. He made these from scratch. He no longer makes them, actually. He told me that um, at the time, which was back in 2017, that he was no longer going to um, produce these. And um, I was lucky enough to grab one, and I'm very, very happy that I was able to. So, uh, with that said, the system is... Um, pretty much running off of XBMC, um, so you have all these uh, great um, options to display cover art as well as, you know, changing up some of the layouts and stuff like that. Like me, I like your basic, uh, basic colors and stuff like that that you can see going on here. This is just basic green, but if I wanted to uh, set this up to where I had different colors going on, different... Like, I could connect it to a network and have the weather and all that stuff, which I've never had an Xbox before. That might have already been on there. But, um, you go to Appearance, you can change the, you know, the layouts, um, according to, you know, what's available here. So you got two of them right there. Um, and the colors here, uh, I usually like keeping the blue. Uh, it just really kind of depends on the, um... It really depends on the mood, I guess. Is like moonlight. It looks really nice. I'm gonna actually keep this on here while we're doing this, just because the, you know, the lighting's picking up a lot better. But uh, anyway, first off, I'm gonna show you guys the game section, which is just pretty much Xbox games that I had backed up, and this is pretty much my entire Xbox library that I have backed up to the hard drive here. So I'm able to. Of course, a lot of people don't know this, with the modded Xbox, you can actually take an ISO folder um, or a file and put it on a blank DVD-R and pretty much back up everything that would pretty much be the game um, that would be playing through your disc on here. One of the rarest games I have on here is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which is like a sim builder. And uh, just to kind of show you guys that these do work, um, some of these have covers and cover art and stuff like that. Uh, we'll go to Jurassic Park just to kind of, you know, show you guys that, um, it plays directly from the hard drive. Um, and there's enough hard drive space to have, I think, I have 23 games on here on top of everything else you guys are going to eventually see. So, as you can see, this game is running at its normal... Um, right as if there's a disc in the hard drive and there isn't. You can see some glitching and stuff going on, but uh, you know, it's very random. So, I mean, you guys can tell that uh, this works. Hello, my name is John Hammond and I am in charge of InGen. Which is, uh, this is a pretty cool game right here if you guys have never played this. I had it on the PC when I was younger, but um, we'll go back to the main menu and uh, be able to, I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the other stuff that I have on here as well because the meat and potatoes is the nostalgic aspect of the whole thing, which is right here. So we have 
just kind of go from top to bottom, which I have it organized based on usage. And apparently my favorite system to play is the Super Nintendo. Um, so I have the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, uh, something called Coin Ops, which I'll show in a little bit. Nintendo, this is like the arcade section. Got the Nintendo 64, which I will give you guys some bad news involving that in a minute. PlayStation, MAME, uh, Atari 2600, you got a section for Capcom Fighters, Game Gear, uh, you got the like original Doom computer uh, PC game, right there, Terror Graphics 16, Rain Arcade, Mortal Kombat Pack, Virtual Boy, um, you got a Street Fighter pack right there. Coleco Vision, Duke Nukem 3D. Um, there's just a lot of stuff on here, guys. Atari 5200. So we'll kind of start from the top and we'll go to Super Nintendo. It doesn't take too long for it to load up. You'll have this menu kind of greeting you right here. audio to follow. <laughs> anyway, so the cool thing is, is there's every single game for the Super Nintendo pretty much is on here and they are in order. And I'm not going to show off every single game because there's pretty much a full library of Super Nintendo games, but I will point out my favorites. Um, I did I did have Aura Monsters when I was a kid and you can see there's a video display playing right there on the right. So that's pretty awesome. Um, of course, you got Adam's Family, Adventures of Batman and Robin. This is a fun game, and uh, I actually beat the game on here. So there's that. And I'll point out some Super Nintendo favorites for everyone else, like Aladdin. That's a great game, and it runs amazing. You guys remember, remember this is a 65-inch 4K Ultra HD TV, and I have RGB cables running through the back end, so at least it's exporting in some form of high definition. I think this is in 1080p, so it does look good on the television. Um, it, it looks great. Animaniacs, right there. And I'll play a game and stuff to kind of show you, but I just wanted to go through the library with you guys real quick, with all this detail and stuff. Batman Forever, you guys know me. So we have that, Beavis and Butthead. Let's see, Biker Mice from Mars. I know a lot of people talk about that TV show. This is all 90s nostalgia here. This is like the um, epitome of nostalgia for me uh, was the Super Nintendo. Because um, I used to play it all the time with my cousin. And so we played this Ninja Turtles fighting game and uh, Super Mario World all the time. And I uh, have that all on here now. So, have every single game, even the dreaded sports games. <laughs> so, this is full library, guys. Casper. Right there. You got Chester Cheetah. Clay Fighter. This is just a full library, guys. There's nothing missing on here, really. I mean, there is a section for games that don't work. Like, um, I'll, I'll point out that uh, there is also um, regional games for Europe and Japan on here as well. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I'm trying to go through the whole list here for you guys. So there's Final Fantasy and um, and stuff going on here. Some covers are not kind of showing on here, which I've been used to for a while. The Flintstones, I didn't even know they did a, a video game for the movie, Flintstones movie, until recently. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Goof Troop. Gotta love Disney Afternoon. Home Alone. Home Improvement. <laughs> There's a video game for Home Improvement, guys. Uh, hook. Inspector Gadget, man. I used to love playing this game. I'm still a sucker for Inspector Gadget stuff. It's crazy. Um, then we have, uh, of course, like the Jetsons. 
Judge Dredd, Jungle Book, Jurassic Park. Got a lot of great stuff on here. And you got classic Nintendo stuff like Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Avalanche, Kirby's Dream Course, um, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, of course. I love that. And I had this long before the mini consoles, which I still do have. This game, I love this game, but I also hate it at the same time. Pain in the ass. Same with the Aladdin game. Um, yeah, you got all the Maddens right here. Special section for Madden. Mario Paint. This does work. Mario Paint does. And thank God because this has a joystick on the, on the controller. So you're able to play that, no problem. Um, let's see. Oh, The Mask. Love this video game. I want to do a gameplay video at some point. I might eventually get into it. So... Um, you guys can look forward to that at some point. All the Mega Man games right here. Mega Man X. Mickey Mania. And of course we got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition. And the movie. As well as the TV show. Right there. Mortal Kombat 1. Which doesn't have its cover art for some reason. Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. NBA Jam. I love NBA Jam. Those were games I used to play all the time. Nickelodeon Guts. Do, 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 do you have it? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here. And of course, the game I'm probably going to put on here to just show you guys this emulates properly is like Mario or something like that. So yeah, there's just a lot of great games. There's Power Rangers Battle Racers right there. It's not a great game, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ren and Stimpy. These are all nostalgia games for me. I used to play all the TV show and movie games when I was a kid, so I was kind of that weirdo. Robocop vs. Terminator. Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, this is all nostalgia for me. Oh, hang on, we have um, Secret of Mana. A lot of people love that game. I know everybody loves this game too. <laughs> so, yeah, SimCity 2000. We used to have that on the PC. Got some Simpsons games here. So yeah, this is a full Super Nintendo library, pretty much. Uh, Spawn, that is a great, great game. Uh, Spider-Man the X-Men, Arcade's Revenge, Maximum Carnage, love that. Uh, oh, and if you guys look closely, um, it'll switch back and forth between the cover art and the cartridge. Pretty sure it transfers over. Maybe this one doesn't. We'll see. Let's see. Hang on just a second. Uh, okay. We're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. All right, go back to the Spider-Man real quick. All right. I don't know why I did that. There we go. All right, Spider-Man. All right, we could look and see the cartridge. Like I was saying, the cartridge will kind of switch over on some of these. You don't always get the option see there you can see the cartridge right there switches back and forth uh, I got the animated series Spider-Man Star Fox right there Street Fighter Alpha 2 I know yeah here we go Super or Street Fighter 2 the World Warrior Street Fighter 2 Turbo so yeah there you got all that Super Godzilla. There is a better Godzilla game I'm fixing to point out, by the way. Uh, then we have Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Super Metroid. Yeah, there's just a lot 
lot of stuff. And you got all the Star Wars, Super Star Wars games right there. T2, the arcade game. I have the actual arcade game on here. Uh, Tasmania. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. You got the Terminator stuff. Uh, the Tick. Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff on here, guys. I, I'm only going through Super Nintendo right now. <laughs> uh, you got Toy Story. Yeah, this is all nostalgia. And Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. This is this is a crazy system to have. <laughs> Wizard of Oz for the Super Nintendo. So yeah, and you got all the wrestling games. But by the way, guys, uh, WWF Raw, Royal Rumble, Super WrestleMania, the arcade game. It's all on here. X Men: Mutant Apocalypse. All right, now we're finished with the American um, Super Nintendo stuff. Now we can go to like Japan. So these are the Japanese ones. And these all work on the system as well. So you can see all these are um, all the Japanese stuff. And you got little previews for the games as well. This is the game that the angry video game nerd had pointed out that we were supposed to get in America. For some reason we didn't, but it's called Godzilla Kaiju Daikinson. It is a tournament fighter game for the Super Nintendo, and I can play this just fine. Absolutely no issues. Um, so yeah, actually I'll kind of I'll go ahead and pl uh, push play on that so you guys can. We'll, we'll go ahead and show some gameplay just to kind of show you guys that everything does work, no problems whatsoever. So yeah, this is a Japanese game. And it is in English. It does give you English options. And I like... I like being able to fast forward through this shit, because I can't really, uh... There we go. So I'll play as Godzilla. Alright. Enemy Monster Select. Who do I think we should go up against? Should we go against... Go up against Mechagodzilla. Stage 1. It looks amazing, guys. It looks, like, beautiful. Being able to play these games in HD on the big screen. Look at that. Godzilla. Alright, so now we can exit the game. Just go back to uh, show you guys all this other stuff. They got like Sailor Moon fighting tournaments, apparently, which is pretty cool. Hey, you got a lot of stuff on here. And then we got special releases, which um, these are kind of more or less like hacked games, I guess, or what people, what other people have made, you know? So. They've taken the sprites and done something different. Europe games are... I've never really paid attention to, but most of the stuff, it's, you know, generic. Of course, but you guys see that. And there's a section for the Super Scope, which obviously <laughs> isn't going to work on here. Uh, it's, it's crazy. But just kind of show you guys other games that do work. Um... If you guys wanted to see, like, uh, the Power Rangers movie working on here, there you guys go. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. It works just fine on here. It looks amazing, too. 
So let's go ahead and go to the Sega Genesis, which is also compiled with the Sega Master System and Sega CD, and I do believe also 32X. So we'll go ahead and you know, show that off. This is going to be a long video, guys, but I'm glad you guys are sticking around at least to enjoy the awesomeness that is pretty much what I call my nostalgia box. So this is all the Sega Genesis stuff here. Well, this is 32X. You guys can see this is 32X. So this is just a Sega section. I, mean, I did set it up to where there's a bigger screen on display. So these are all 32X games, which works just great. So there's this Spider-Man game on the 32X that works amazingly. Look at that. It looks amazing. I love these old graphics and stuff like that. That you know, just represent a time when before gaming was as advanced as it is now. Um, I just like revisiting, you know, retro games. So, yeah, look at this. So yeah, um, that's 32X right there. So we'll get through, so you got all, uh, pretty much the whole 32X library on here. Now we're in Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis library um, is mixed in with the CD and 32X. This game was a pain in the ass, um, but you know, it, wor it works just like every other game. And it looks amazing. I, I can't really get over how amazing these games look. They are so clear. The clarity on them is just amazing. And since I have a sound bar on, which I wish I could let you guys listen to that. It's just an amazing feature. Like it's just it's beautiful. Um, then we have uh, other games, Adventures of Mighty Max, Aerobiz, Afterburner 2, and we got the Aladdin Sega Genesis version, Altered Beast, Animaniacs on here as well. My sister used to have this game. I remember when we picked this up at Toys R Us. She had that one too. <laughs> she, she picked this one up as well. Uh, that was funny. We got Batman Forever. This is the game I think that uh, was sent to me. Um, I, I don't have an actual Sega Genesis outside the classic and on here, but I can still have access to the game. So as you can see, the artwork for the cartridges and stuff are also coming through. So, yeah, you got all these uh, games going on here. Battletoads. Beavis and Butthead. I had this version of Beavis and Butthead. This is all, like, classic. I'm just kind of going through. Okay, now we're in the Sega CD section. So, those of you guys wondering how Sega CD looks on here, I'm going to show you guys. So, we have, like, a, we got a Batman game here. Amazing Spider-Man vs. Kingpin. Let's see. What what can we do? Oh, let's let's do the representation. This has got one of the best cinematic shots in the, in the Sega CD. But yes, you can uh, you can play Sega CD, and I can actually buy Sega CD discs and put them in here. But what's the point? I have the whole library. Look at that. 
So now we'll get to see the cinematic shot of the Batmobile. It's great. Act one, Streets of Gotham City. And it handles fine. There's no glitching, no problems with the with the gameplay. It looks great. But yeah, that's pretty much all. And I forgot to actually show you guys something with the Super Nintendo, but I'll show you guys here. So there is a section for you to look at manuals as well. So if you wanted to look at the manual for this game, you can flip through the pages and read the manuals and zoom in um, right here. And it doesn't, you can, you can see everything very clearly right there all the information which is awesome and <laughs> this is pretty awesome you get to see commercials for certain games so here we have like a, ga a commercial for the game Aladdin These commercials. Sega <laughs> Genesis. It's great. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of great stuff on here. So uh, now we'll go back to the main menu. So these, like I said, this does have all the uh, Sega CD games, even the famed um, band game. It was called. Uh, See if I can find it. Yeah, like Fahrenheit, which is pretty cool. It's like a simulated firefighter game. Um, there is a band game or a game that was just absolutely despised. Uh, Hook, right there. In excess. Jeopardy. Jurassic Park. Yeah, there's just a lot of great stuff on here. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Just pretty much building your own, like, music videos. And you got a Power Ranger game. It's just pretty much the show, and it's a button masher. Uh, Mortal Kombat on Sega CD. Oh, there it is, Night Trap. This game was, uh, was banned for whatever reason. So yeah, there's just everything Sega CD is on here. Smurfs, Sonic CD, a lot of people love that. Hang on, I just saw this. Star Wars Chess. <laughs> um, oh, it has Mass Rider. I don't know why it says Mass Raider, but there's a Mass Rider game. Enough people knew that. And Wheel of Fortune. So now we're back into Sega Genesis in the seas. So we have like Clay Fighter here. Columns, I used to play that all the time. Comic Zone, that was a great game, classic. So there's all the C's, we are in the D's now. Disney. So we got the Jungle Book. Then we got the Lion King. Double Dragon. Of course. Um, Earthworm Jim. I love Earthworm Jim. 
Echo the Dolphin. And uh, we got all the sports stuff again. I'm trying to point out like other ones right here. We have um, Flintstones. Frogger used to have that. Gargoyles. I got the Gargoyles video game for the Sega. Right here. Did I show off a Genesis game? I'll show this one off. I don't know if I showed off Genesis. But yeah, you can see Sega Genesis works. Like I said, I could play any of these games for you guys. If you guys have a game you want me to play and you request it, it's guaranteed that I'll play it. I actually remember renting this game. Yeah, this is great. So, yeah, all this stuff is emulated perfectly, no glitching, there's no problems with anything. Ghostbusters right there. You got the Golden Axe games, those are fun. Hook again. They, they release this game like a lot for every single system, but incredible crash test dummies right there, incredible Hulk, James Bond 007. I know there's a uh, okay, Judge Dredd right there, Jurassic Park. Man, this I had this game, I played this all the time as well. Lost World Jurassic Park. King of the Monsters. Last Action Hero. Lethal Enforcers. Of course, we got all the Madden stuff. All the Madden games. Whole list of Madden. Magic School Bus. McDonald's Treasureland Adventure. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in the movie. This is the game I remember playing as a kid. And we got the TV show version, which was like a pretty much an arcade fighter. And you got Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. NBA Jam. I had it on the Sega Genesis. Uh, let's see. Oh, there were ends. Go to O. Uh, Outrun. Pac Mania. Paperboy. Yeah, see, at this point, all these games are um, pretty generic, but, you know, there's some stuff on here, like Pocahontas. Let's see, what else? Rambo. Ren and Stimpy's Invention. Robocop 3. Robocop vs. Terminator. I remember the music for this game was only on the Sega Genesis. The techno music. And what else do we got? So we're in S's now. This is where it should start getting good because, well, Sonic. There it is again, Shaq Fu. <laughs> okay, we got Shinobi. Forgot about Shinobi. That's on here. We got Simpsons. Itchy and Scratchy, Krusty Super Fun House, Virtual Bart. Alright, here we go. So we're in Sonic now. We got Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic, Knuckles, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. So there's just regular Sonic and Knuckles. 
Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, Original Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. So we'll put I'll put the original Sonic on here just to show that it you know obviously works really well. And it looks great. Beautiful. By the way, I let a lot of people ask me, am I discouraged by being able to play this on a joystick, you bitch? Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, this is this looks amazing, and I'm not even trying right now because I'm doing I'm doing a, a, a video gameplay game through playthrough whatever over showing you the Xbox. Um, so yeah, you got all Sonic stuff on there. And Spider-Man the Animated Series, Streets of Rage. Those are good. Streets of Rage. You used to play that all the time. They got a lot of games on here. This damn library, man. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is the game. I don't know why I didn't show it off on the Super Nintendo, but this is the game me and my cousin used to play all the time. So yeah, there you guys go with... The Sega Library. Oh yeah, that's right. Vector Man. I know a lot of people like that. Oh yeah, VR Troopers. There was a VR Troopers video game for the Sega. And yeah, then you get all the wrestling stuff. It's pretty much just like the Super Nintendo. All those games were pretty much released on simultaneously on the two different systems but uh, yeah there's no Japanese licensed anything but uh, they've translated in different countries why is there a San Andreas for this <laughs> okay so yeah there's that all right oh and you can separate it uh, and you can see there it says uh, non-working games for the 32x these games do not work apparently which sucks, but, you know. Anyway, we'll go back to the menu now and show you guys the um, other systems that are on here that I've played more recently. And I think the next one, yeah, next one's Game Boy, which is actually ridiculous. This one has both Game Boy, or has Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. So we're gonna try to go through this as fast as possible. So this is probably gonna take up a lot of the time. So, we have, like I said, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. So these are the license, and you have different ones for Europe and Japan too, but we'll take a look at the US license. All these games for the Game Boy. And I'll, uh, of course, point out, you know, which ones I remember playing when I was a kid. I have this one. I love Batman the Animated Series when I was a kid. This is just a really shitty version of the Super Nintendo game. Don't, don't even. It's worse, if that's even worth mentioning. Uh, they get the Batman 89. So yeah, you have all these games going on here. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to move as fast as possible through some of these. But I'm sure you guys will be able to see some of the cover art for some of your favorite games. I'll point out Pokemon and I'll play it on here just to show you guys. Oh, there's Darkwing Duck. Again, it's just the NES game, according to the Game Boy. With all the color sucked out of it. Some of these actually do have color palettes. Um, like most of Nintendo, you can see right there. It was not showing in the gameplay, the menus are colored. So, DuckTales. Ooh, Flash. So this is based on the 90s TV show. Right here. We got a game for the Flintstones movie. Godzilla meets Bubble Bobble. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, and then, of course, like, Hook again. Home Alone. 
Jurassic Park on here somewhere, but I'm pretty sure, again, yeah, it's the Nintendo game. Jurassic Park Lost World. Yeah. Killer Instinct. <laughs> okay. Good on you, Nintendo, for trying. Um, let's see, we got, oh, Legend of Zelda, right there for Link's Awakening. Looney Tunes. I know that some of the Power Ranger games are on here. So we have Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. So these are colored. Those are the Game Boy versions of these. And I'll point them out, of course. You can see that they're colored. But yeah, some of the Game Boy games are colored, and the palette's just pretty much switched over into different colors and stuff like that. But look how good this looks on a big screen, though. Game Boy never looked this good. It never looked this good. <laughs> it looks amazing on here. I'm pretty sure it's not really representing it too well through the screen, but it's beautiful. What was that? I need that. Thank you. I don't even know why I'm playing this right now. It's invincibility. Or it wasn't. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, you had both that and the movie version. Mortal Kombat. Some of these games shouldn't have been on Game Boy. I'm just being honest. I'm yeah, getting the peas in just a second. I'll show you guys Pokemon. Because that, that's like one of the big things on Game Boy is the Pokemon games. And I agree, because I used to play them all the time. Alright, so we have blue and red. Don't be discouraged. I'm still kind of holding out for other games like yellow, silver, and stuff. That's spread out throughout the whole Game Boy library. So we have blue and red. I used to play red all the time. So I'll show you guys that this works just like uh, it would play on a Game Boy. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. I don't wanna go through this, but you guys get it, right? <laughs> and uh, I, I'll actually show you guys, um, when I, I'll do blue again real quick, I'll do blue, just to kinda show you where you can browse the media, you can actually look at the manual for these games as well for Pokemon. It's like a trainer's guide. Right, look at that classic Pokemon artwork right there, guys. That is crazy. These are so many memories right here because I used to always appreciate everything Pokemon back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Like, oh, hang on. Look at, look at this cute image of Pikachu right there. Do you, do you not see that? Look at, look at that. He's so cute. Let's get him on camera right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and uh, of course they have commercials for certain games as well. Um, like there's one for Ninja Turtles. So there's that. I'm not gonna show it all off in detail, but um, So yeah, you have all these Game Boys. Ooh, they had a real Ghostbusters game? I guess I didn't really know that. Huh. Yeah, they pretty much, uh, ooh, Rugrats movie. I didn't know they had that either. I'm starting to learn some new stuff. Small Soldiers. I used to have this on the PlayStation, so I guess I really didn't know they did a Game Boy game for it either. Hmm. Yeah, they do have the Star Wars games, but they only have Return of the Jedi and Empire. Interesting choice. Oh, wait, no, never mind, there's the other one. <laughs> I'm stupid. Forget about that. Um, Street Fighter 2, right there. So yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, is this the, no, that's not the other Tarzan. So yeah, you have Turtles right here, Fall of the Foot Clan, Back from the Sewers, Radical Rescue. 
The game that everybody played was Tetris Attack. I think that, was it Tetris Attack or Tetris that came with the Game Boy? I think it might have been just regular Tetris. So yeah, Tiny Toon Adventures. Yeah, all this mem all these memories, man. It's great. Ooh, that's right, I forgot. They did a Who Framed Roger Rabbit game for the Game Boy, which I didn't know. Alright, so now we're done with Game Boy, let's move into Game Boy Color. Even though we do have, you know, Japanese games like uh, like Ultraman, Battle Pinball, or Ping Pong, or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, there's not really that much going on there. Personal assistants. Oh, that's right. They did include these. So they, I, I do need to point these out because I'm sure a lot of people would be interested. They do have these personal assistants kind of um, like travel guides and stuff. It's interesting. It gets a lot funner when you get to Game Boy Advance, but we're going to do Game Boy Color now. So here's Game Boy Color. Animorphs. These two horrible Austin Powers games, I actually had these, and I never understood them, so. So you got Batman games right here, Chaos and Gotham, Return of the Joker, Battle Tanks, Bear in the Blue, Big Blue House, Blade, yes, a lot of these games for the Game Boy Color. Guys, I wasn't joking about how many games I had on here. When I talked about them on the, on my uh, on my live streams and I talked about the system, it was like it's a bitchin' video game system. It's definitely worth having. If you guys can find somewhere else where someone's making something like this, Dexter's Laboratory. See, these are games I used to have on on my Game Boy because I love Cartoon Network stuff. Bugs Life, Aladdin. You got all the Disney stuff like uh, Atlantis, Lost Empire, Disney's Dinosaur, Emperor's New Groove, Jungle Book, Lion King, Snow White, Seven Doors, Tarzan, Monster Zinc, Doug, right there. We got Dragon Ball Z stuff on here, or just one. Dragon Tales, Duke Nukem. Duke's Hazard, oh man, the Earthworm Jim, Elmo and Grouchland. I remember having Elmo. I had this one. E.T. My sister had this, or she had this one. Escape from Planet Earth. Yeah. Extreme Ghostbusters. Flintstones, Burger Time, and Bedrock. So this is just Burger Time. Literally. <laughs> it's interesting. They kind of reskinned it with the Flintstones. Um, Game and Watch Gallery. Right there. That's pretty cool. Gex. Who remembers Gex? That's fun. Godzilla the Series. Right there. Road to El Dorado. The best Grand Theft Auto game ever. Is on Game Boy. <laughs> The Grinch. Um, oh, I had this. I had both of these. Harry Potter and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I loved these games. They were crazy, but I loved them. Yeah, is this? No. That is the other Hercules game. <laughs> Not the Disney one. Um, Indiana Jones, Inspector Gadget. Jim Henson's Muppets. Okay, we got a bunch of Legend of Zelda stuff on here. So we got Link's Awakening DX and Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Season. We got some Lego stuff on here before they started getting movie properties. So they did like racers and stuff like that. Little Mermaid. <laughs> they did a video game for Little Nicky. Hi, I'm Nikki, and I like, I like to, uh, Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. <laughs> Looney Tunes, oh, Madden stuff, of course. Mario Tennis. 
Mary Kate and Ashley games. Those were all over the place. Mask of Zorro. Mega Man, Men in Black. These are based on the animated series. Remember that. Micro Machines, Mission Impossible, Monopoly, Monster Rancher. Mortal Kombat 4. Is that a 4 or 5? Oh, it says so right there on the damn box art. Um, so, Mummy, Mummy Returns, NASCAR, NASCAR, NBA. More Mary Kate Ashley, NFL Blitz. There. Arcade versions better. Nicktoons Racing. In Sync. Get to the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Perfect Dark. I'm uninteresting on the Game Boy. All right, here we go. We got Pokemon um, for uh, Crystal, Gold, and Silver. I used to play Silver all the time. But just like the other Pokemon games, these work amazingly. And they look amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then I was playing it, so... Yeah. Um, and then Pokemon Yellow, which I did beat. This is a game I used to play all the time as well. Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, Pokemon Trading Card Game. Um, uh, we got some Power Ranger games. Time Force. Lightspeed Rescue, Powerpuff Girls, Bad Mojo Jojo, Battle Him, Townsville. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff on here. Rayman, right there. Robocop. Really ridiculous Robocop game. Why can't they ever do Robocop properly? Rugrats Time Travelers, Rugrats in Paris the Movie, Rugrats... Okay, so I was trying to figure out why they had this uncolored on the Game Boy. They had... This is the one that I had. Oh, we got Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. They made a game specifically for Treehouse of Horror. That's pretty cool. Spawn. Not as good as the Super Nintendo one. Spider-Man. The PlayStation version's better. This is one of the earlier Spongebob games right here. Star Wars Episode 1, Obi-Wan's Adventures. Episode 1, Racer. Yoda Stories. Street Fighter. Stuart Little. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Right there. Yeah. This is all like Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the game. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... Toy Story 2, Toy Story Racer. They always do racer games for everything. It's crazy. So yeah, there's just a lot of crazy, crazy games. Yu-Gi-Oh! Right there. Used to have that one. Alright guys, Game Boy Advanced. Hang on, let me see if there's anything worth checking out on here. Oh, they have Dance Dance Revolution for the Game Boy. So yeah, not really anything. Europe licensed. Alright. Then we have Game Boy Advanced. Alright guys, this is crazy, but yeah, Game Boy Advance. You have all the Game Boy Advance games. American Dragon, Jake Long, remember that? Avatar. Last Airbender. Got some more Batman games here. Batman Begins, the Game Boy. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through a lot of these. My sister had this one too. I remember she had that. My cousin had this one, my little cousin had that. He used to play all the time, Cars, Cartoon Network Speedway, and Block Party. Catwoman, terrible. Uh, yeah. Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. 
They have some Crash games on here, so we got Crash, Huge Adventure, Two Entranced, Purple, Ripto, Nitro Kart, Crash of the Titans, alright, Crazy Taxi, and then you got a lot of Nickelodeon stuff like Danny Phantom, Daredevil, the Ben Affleck Daredevil, Deal or No Deal? No deal. <laughs> um, Dexter's Laboratory again here. Digimon. Some Digimon stuff. Digimon Racing. Okay then. <laughs> um, we got more Disney stuff going on here. Disney's Aladdin, which is a port of the Super Nintendo. Uh, Atlantis Lost Empire. Donald Duck. Kim Possible. Lilo and Stitch. Peter Pan Return to Neverland. That's so Raven got video games back then. Jungle Book. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy time. Doom was ported to the game. <laughs> no sound at all. Uh, Dora the Explorer. They did a video game for the Cat in the Hat movie with Michael Myers, or Mike Myers. Dragon Ball Z, GT, and all kinds of Dragon Ball Z games. Um, yeah, Earthworm Jim was ported back to the Game Boy. Ed, Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers. They did a video game for the movie Elf, guys. <laughs> uh, and the movie Enchanted. It's ridiculous. I uh, got Fairly Odd Parent stuff. These were fun to play back then. Fantastic Four, Fear Factor. Yeah, Fear Factor game. Uh, Finding Nemo, of course, Fire Emblem, there, Flintstones, Trouble in Bedrock, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends video game, Franklin, my sister had this Frogger game, it gave me a headache that video game, uh, let's see, Garfield, Ghost Rider, the Game Boy, Godzilla Domination, uh, Grand Theft Auto Advanced. <laughs> Man, it was crazy. A crazy time. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This is like a sign of the times right here. Some of these games I'm pointing out were just like of its time. I got these Harry Potter games here. Hey Arnold, the movie, the video game. They did a Herbie fully loaded video game. Uh, hi, hi, Puffy, Yami Yumi video game. They did a, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> they did a damn high school musical game. Ice Age, Incredibles, Inspector Gadget Racing, of course they did. Inspector Gadget Racing game. Uh, Jackie Chan Adventures. Jimmy Neutron video games. I used to love playing Jimmy Neutron and watching it. We got Jurassic Park 3, Park Builder, which is just a lazier, cheaper version of what I love on the Game Boy. Or not the Game Boy, the Xbox game. I had this one. This game used to piss me off all the time. Justice League. Oh, we got Kirby games, of course. Game Boy got uh, just, uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Konami games, classics. Kong based on the movie, but Peter Jackson, the animated series. We got some Land Before Time, Spyro, Ze Legend of Zelda, Bionicle, Lego Racers, Lego Star Wars, a series of unfortunate events. Lizzie McGuire got some video games as well. Some crazy Lord of the Rings. My sister had the Eminem Blast game. I know she remembers that one. Madagascar, all the Madden stuff, Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Super Circuit, yeah, all these Mario games, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, more Max or Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, Medal of Honor, 
Mega Man, all the Mega Man games. It's like game board games, Mucho Lucha, I remember that. Mummy and the Animated Series, Muppets. Oh, we got Naruto. There. NASCAR, NBA Jam, Need for Speed. Those were on there as well. NFL Blitz, you got Nicktoons games there. Pac Man. Yeah, uh, the video game for the Peter Pan movie. Phil of the Future. It's a lot of Disney, like, sitcom games. Pirates of the Caribbean, of course. Pitfall. Here we go. We got some, uh, we got Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Mystery Dungeon, Pinball. All those going on there. And we got uh, Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm, SPD, Time Force, Wild Force, tons of Power Ranger games. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Proud Family video game. Um, let's see, what else? Ratatouille. We got a bunch of Rayman games. Rabbids, I hated Rabbids. I'm sorry if people like Rabbids, but I hate Rabbids. Uh, let's see, what else? Robots. Rocky for the Game Boy, what? Okay, that looks terrible. Rugrats. Sabrina the Teenage Witch video game. Samurai Jack. Yeah, Samurai Jack video game. They did a video game for Santa Claus 3. Tim Allen, Santa Claus. Scooby-Doo, both movies, TV shows, Scorpion King. There's just a lot of stuff on here, guys. Uh, wish I could say that. I think I got Shrek right there. Simpsons Road Rage. Sims. Got a bunch of Sonic stuff added. Spider-Man, they got Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, you got Spongebob all over the place, everything that went on here for Spongebob, um, Spy Kids, Spyro, and got Star Wars, tons of Star Wars stuff, I used to love playing this, I had that game. And we got like a bunch of like ports of like Super Mario World and Super Mario 3, Superman Returns, Surf's Up, Tack and the Power of Juju. We got Tarzan, Ninja Turtles games. I love this one. I had that one. It was a fun game. Terminator 3, Tiny Toons, TMNT. Yeah, yeah, just have a lot of games, guys. Tony Hawk Pro Skater again. Top Gun, totally. Someone was bringing up Totally Spies in my live stream. So there you guys have, they have games for Totally Spies. Right there, that's on there. I've never been a fan of Totally Spies. I've never watched it, so. And Ultimate Spider-Man, Unfabulous, Uno. Just a lot of games, guys. Wow, Thornberries. Tons and tons and tons of games. X-Men, the movies, video games, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, now what I'm going to show you guys when it comes to the Game Boy stuff, uh, as far as Game Boy Advance goes. They do have Japanese ones, but like I said, not a lot going on. But they included the video cartridges that you know played episodes of a TV show, which is weird. So you got like a Cartoon Network, like limited edition Cartoon Network collection. So I'll show this to you just to show you guys that this works. But the frame rate and the quality just doesn't do very well. Like um, this is Game Boy Player. But these do work, and it's ridiculous. You could, you were able to watch an episode or a movie <laughs> on a Game Boy cartridge. So we have, which okay, so it's Kids Next Door. Is this Kids Next Door? No, that's that's Courage. It's Courage's Cowardly Dog. 
Okay, so it tells you how to so it's searching. This is a whole episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog. You can fast forward. Yeah. It is legit a full episode. And it is ridiculous that that was a thing. But not only that, I'm pretty sure they include a movie. Like they get it, like a Disney Channel section right there. Fairly odd parents. I thought they did. Okay, there's Pokemon. Didn't they do like a sh one for just like Shrek? Like the one movie for Shrek? I can't remember. Then they had special releases right here. I don't know what those are. So yeah, that, that, that's that's crazy. And then we have like um, translated games right here. So yeah. Well guys, I told you this was going to be a long video and we're still working on it. I will go ahead and show you guys the Nintendo and I'm going to try to go through it a lot quicker because, you know, there's just so much going on here. So here's Nintendo. So we have all the Nintendo games, NES, Nightmare on Elm Street. Afterburner. Man, that's just a lot of stuff on here. Okay, so we have Batman games. Here's here's the original Batman from 1989. Right here, this works beautifully. I forgot to show you guys that some of the things that you can do, there is a cheat code database, you know, there's stuff like that. You can do save states, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, and also, I guess, like, game utility, see save state, load state, current state, you can screenshot and do stuff like that. With the browse media and stuff, you can do, you know, view the manual for, you know, these games for the Nintendo, again. Going through all this stuff here. It's pretty awesome. And we got commercials, of course, for um, all these different games. Like DuckTales. Yeah, the original commercial for the DuckTales video game. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, back to Batman, I guess. It looks amazing. So yeah, like all these damn games, they just look and feel and great. It looked great. Beetlejuice, Battletoads, um, tons and tons and tons of games, guys. Bubble Bobble, right there. Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. How about Bugs Bunny's birthday beating? <laughs> Love the angry video game card. Uh, we got Casino Kid, Castlevania. So, got all these games here. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Contra. Darkwing Duck. There. All these games work. Every single one of them. Die Hard, Dick Tracy, Dig Dug, Double Dare, yeah, game for Double Dare. Uh, DuckTales right there, DuckTales 2. Flintstones and this one was is a very rare Nintendo game apparently like it's a holy grail the um, Flintstones surprise at Dinosaur Peak uh, Friday the 13th video game Ghostbusters 
Yay, Spectres! Ghostbusters 2. That's G.I. Joe, Gilligan's Island, the video game. Uh, Godzilla. At Goonies. Right there. Home Alone. Hook. Um, Jaws, the video game. Jurassic Park. Karate Kid. That was like the anger video game nerd's first video he ever did was for the Karate Kid game. Now we got Kirby's Adventure. Knight Rider. Legend of Zelda. X Men. Mick Kids. Mega Man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Metal Gear, right there. Ninja Gaiden, 1, 2, and 3. You got the Nintendo World Championships cartridge right here. Um, Paperboy. RS. Oh, we got Rambo. Robocops 1 through 3. I used to have the first game. Sesame Street game. We're getting into like, okay, here we got The Simpsons, Bart vs. The World vs. Super, or Space Mutants, Bart vs. Radioactive Man, Skate or Die. And then we're getting into. Oh, we got a space shuttle simulator right there. Spider-Man. Star Trek, and of course Star Wars. And here we are, we're at Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, and these all do look and feel, or they play amazing on the Xbox. Nothing Nothing different. It's a curse for me to be this good at this damn game. Ah, fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get all the Super Mario games going on there. Tailspin. Everything's on here, guys. Huge list. Original Turtles. Turtles 2. Manhattan Project. Terminator. Yeah, it's all on here. Oh, there you go. Top Gun. Um, so yeah. Everything's on here. You got all the Zelda and stuff like that on here as well. Um, then we've got like a unlicensed games which are not listed apparently NES power pad Europe Japan so you get some Japanese uh, releases of some of these games and the reason why I'm putting these on here or showing this off is because of the section for let's see if I can find it It should be over here somewhere. Uh, is it under translated? I guess it, it should be under Japan. Let's see, is it over here? I have a problem finding these games sometimes. 
but it should be in the Japanese section. Now in my look, I'm looking completely in the wrong area, so let me go to see if there's a translated section. Yeah, it's probably in translated. Alright, so we have like a bunch of Dragon Ball Z NES games. And it should be over here. I'm trying to please the Power Ranger fandom by showing off the Sentai games. Oh, there we go. So there's G Ranger, and there is one for um, Jetman as well, but I don't know where the hell it is. So let's see. Is it, uh, is it in the J's? I just I passed the J's already, didn't I? Oh my god, this is a ridiculous way to find these. Oh, there it is. There it is, Jetman. So, just to show you guys that. Oh yeah, if you if you can, you can look and see all the information for these games too. So, but yeah, there was Nintendo. Alright. Jesus, <laughs> this video is going to be amazingly long. Um, but I don't care. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys the arcade section. This is probably one of my favorite sections in the whole system because of how the um, presentation is. So, I've shown this off a lot, especially in my live streams and stuff like that. But you can see all the arcade games that are included, like Turtles in Time, the original Turtles. Like, all these games are playable. There's Super Mario World, I don't know why it's on here in the arcade section, but then you got Super Mario 64. This works. I can show you guys a game playing in just a second. You got all, the, all these arcade games, Street Fighter, uh, Star Wars arcade game, like the old Atari Star Wars arcade, uh, Star Fox 64. Like the presentation for these games is crazy. Sonic the Hedgehog. It's the Simpsons Arcade. I know a lot of people ask me to play this soon. I'm gonna eventually do a full gameplay in the Simpsons Arcade, so. Yeah, Robocop Arcade. There's just so much on this system, it's not enough time in the day to play all this stuff, but. I love being able to show everybody this amazing system. So you got Mortal Kombat. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Superheroes, just in general. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys um, Mario Kart works. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through all these games for you. Uh, there's an Indiana Jones arcade game. Golden Axe original arcade. Okay. Frogger, of course. Classic. Empire Strikes Back Star Wars arcade game. Alright, so now I'm going to just kind of show you guys how some of these games do work. We'll go back to um, Ninja Turtles because I like showing off off that one. There we go. The original Ninja Turtles arcade. You know, all these arcade one-up uh, things are pretty cool. I would like to get the Turtles one specifically, but, you know, I have access to being able to play it on the big screen on a 65-inch television on my Xbox, everything loads up perfectly. Like it takes a while to load up some of these arcade games, just like a regular arcade machine. But I see it's reading the system right here, and there you go. Now we'll get to see the iconic intro.
So yeah, this is the actual arcade game. I'm into entering all the... So who do I want to play as? Johnny. can see that this just looks amazing but yeah that's that's pretty much the arcade stuff for that specific section then there are ar other arcade games which you guys have seen me play the Jurassic Park rail shooter and other stuff that is in the coin op section which I have like there's just a ton of games in the coin op section and um this section actually lists everything for the Sega, Super Nintendo, all those stuff that I showed you in this giant list right here. You can see it's just a list right there. But the arcade cabinet actually has some cool, uh, like, original cabinet art and stuff going on. Um, and I do have a special little thing where I go in and I can um, add my personal favorites and isolate them. So I have all my personal favorite arcade games right here, and I showed I was playing this one on the channel, the Batman arcade game, and a few other things. So, and, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I could play the actual Dragon's Lair game. That's the fun game right there. It's a classic '80s game. And then here's like Jurassic Park. I was playing that one. So yeah, you got all these games here. There's Mortal Kombat, original arcade. You got the NBA Jam arcade game. Some of this stuff was not showing up on that other thing, so there's a sequel to Robocop. Um, there's Space Ace. So, so, yeah. Real Ghostbusters arcade. But here's the Super Nintendo stuff at this point, it's just kind of recycling. But anyway, now I will show you guys some of the other stuff that's on here, and then we're going to end this because this is a long video. I'm glad you guys stuck around to check out this awesomeness and this nostalgia. There is a 64 emulation machine, however, not every Nintendo game sadly doesn't work. Um, it's unfortunate. I can't really, uh, can't really understand why Nintendo is such a hard thing to emulate, but some games do work. Pokemon Stadium doesn't. You can see with it underneath here it says comments, so it plays well, but it's kind of glitchy still. It'll tell you that the gl menus glitch and stuff, but I do have all the 64 games on here, um, and they do come with all their, you know, covers and stuff going on. They'll tell you if it plays perfectly, or it just says not playable, like right here. Um, Batman Beyond. Playable graphics glitches. You see what I mean? It's unfortunate that you can't play certain games. Um, but there is always one game that does work. And that is Super Mario 64, which I'll try to show you guys. Hopefully it'll load up. There we go. And it, I've never had any problems with this game emulating on here. See this game emulates just fine on here. 
and I'll try to get some gameplay going for it because you know that's where it's important. This is just a cutscene, and playing the game is different than versus watching the cutscene. But you'll probably see some graphical errors or some stuff, some things kind of floating around. But I've never had the problem with that this game, so. Such a long intro. <laughs> there, you got a little bit of a glitching thing going on there, but it immediately starts back. And I'm able to play it just fine. It looks great. No problems. So, 64 is a quick little preview, but it's hard to really just show everything off. And personally, I think it's pointless to show off the 64 when there's only a few games that work. So, um, PlayStation, um, it's pretty much going to load me back into the coin op section, but it isolates the PlayStation section. There is no special little area for PlayStation, unfortunately, and that's because of the you know, stuff that's on here. But they do have, like... Uh, I do have the Batman Forever Arcade game on here. But these are all the PlayStation games. It's not a full library. I actually have more games on my mini console than on here. But there's Crash Bandicoot. I'll show you guys that that works as well on here. PlayStation on an Xbox is kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see that it works just fine. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents on an Xbox <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, there's really nothing going on wrong here with the with the gameplay. It plays just fine. I just totally missed the boxes, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm just kind of showing you guys the gameplay just to show you that there's no glitches. Yeah. So, yeah, PlayStation works. But, uh, like I said, not too many games on here. What is on here, I do have on my you know, PlayStation Classic, so I'll be able to eventually show you all that stuff. And like I said, you got Atari 2600, all this stuff on here. Atari is kind of hard to play on the Xbox controller, but still. You have uh, pretty much all the Atari games. Every Atari game known to man is on here. Just kind of going through, and it does look amazing. Like, uh, let's let's do let's do a gameplay of a really weird oddity. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, we'll do a gameplay of a really weird one though. Let's see. You guys, ready for this? Let's play Halloween. <laughs> Michael Myers, oh no, run, 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 oh my god, run, oh god, no, oh god. Alright, downstairs now. <laughs> the Atari games, man. Gotta save the child. How do I get him? How do I get the child? I gotta beat him with this dildo. Get over here, you son of a bitch. Oh, I 
can't punch anymore. Oh no, he decapitated me. That's not good. <laughs> so yeah, the Atari games are fun. It's ridiculous, but still fun. Yeah, it's uh, every Atari game is on here though. I'm gonna just let you guys take my word for it, cause I'm not—I was never a big fan of the Atari system. So, uh, and I know a lot of people would want to see certain things on here. Um, with this video being as long as it is already, it's kind of hard to kind of play all the way through. So I'll do the Turbo Graphics and kind of show some of the stuff. I w I've never played Turbo Graphics. I know a few people that are bigger fans of the Turbo Graphics 16 than I will ever be, cause I never had one. Um, but yeah, you have all the Turbo Graphics games here. There's a Godzilla Turbo Graphics game. I did not know this. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is Turbo Graphics CD. And then we got uh, Japan licensed ones. Yeah, I've never played this. This is interesting. Then we got just regular Turbo Graphics, I guess. Die Hard, right here. Yeah. So, Turbo Graphics does play well. I could have sworn it was a Darkwing Duck game from Turbo Graphics, but I guess maybe it was wrong. I don't know who the hell it is. Otherwise, I would have played it. I'll just, uh, let's see if I can find something to kind of show that it works. There it is, there's Darkwing Duck. So you guys can see this game works on here. I've heard this game is terrible, so Turbo Graphics works and emulates just fine on here. Why can't I go over? I don't understand this game. Okay, I'm not even going to attempt it. There was Turbo Graphics. You guys can see that was playing just fine. Um, I'll show you guys how good the uh, you know other stuff looks. Like uh, there's Capcom Fighters. It's just pretty much showing all the Capcom stuff. Game Gear. You know, Game Gear is just pretty much Sega. Uh, Genesis games and stuff put on to uh, more of a handheld. So you got Game Gear right here. All these Game Gear games. There's not a lot of Game Gear games, I guess, but they're just all ports uh, from the Sega Genesis to the you know, Game Gear. Except with the exception of some of these other ones that I've played, like. Uh, there is a, um, a couple of Power Ranger games that look amazing and are different than, um, you know, the Sega and Super Nintendo, as personally me, because they look great. Like, one day I'll probably play these, like, game through, or gameplay from these, but it follows the TV show more, you know? So you can play, King Sp or play against King Sphinx. Graphics look great. I just think this is much better than the Genesis game. Just because you have more options to, you know, play something a little bit more in tune with the show. These are fun. So yeah, Game Gear guys, that's Game Gear. Uh, and what else is worth showing? I know a lot of people probably want to see the Atari 5200, but take my word for it, every single game has been loaded up on here. Um, like a te in television and stuff like that, Atari Lynx. Wait, the Lynx is on here? 
I gotta check this out real quick because I don't think I've ever been on here and there is a Batman and Robin game. I heard it was pretty terrible and then I'll show you the Virtual Boy. Um, just to kind of... There's Batman Returns. Uh, was Batman and Robin on the links? I guess not. Huh. I thought Batman and Robin was on here. See, there's not a lot of games on here. Is, there, is that an Elvira game? Hang on. That is an Elvira game. <laughs> Alright. That's a very short list of games for the... Let's see. Prototypes. Alien vs. Predator. Okay. Not working. I guess I was wrong about the you know, Batman and Robin game. I don't remember what. I thought there was a... Atari Lynx game for Batman and Robin. So, uh, now I'll show you guys the infamous Virtual Boy. And the thing that is fun about this is, you guys ready? You guys ready for this? I can actually make it look like the red, um, you can change it to where you can do it in the red. See, it's not that many Virtual Boy games, guys. So, hang on, let's see. What's a good one? Virtual League Baseball. I thought there was a Mario Tennis game, but... We'll just do Mario Clash. So, hang on. Configuration... Isn't there a way for me to change it to... There should be a way for me to change it to the, uh, the red, headache-inducing, um, thought there was anyway. Okay. I wish I could show that. I was hoping that I'd be able to show... screenshot uh, this isn't right okay video configurations um, I know this is probably boring to you guys but I was really hoping that I would have been able to show the, the red anyway you guys know that Works. It's supposed to look like this. So, I, I would have to eventually figure out how to do the configuration, but yeah, that's interesting that that didn't work. It's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, this is a long ass video, boys. It's crazy. Um, is there anything else that I really want to show off on here? I don't think so. We will end it with playing probably one of my favorite, um, like, PC-ish games, Duke Nukem 3D. And, uh, it looks amazing. Trust my word for it. Watch, watch, uh, yeah, here we go. This is beautiful. Alright. I forgot how I was supposed to... Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, but this is such a beautiful, beautiful game. Play so well on here. Hello. Come on, come on. I suck at shooting. I have to fix the... Ooh. Someone's shooting at me? Someone is shooting at me. Where'd you come from? What the flip? Okay, you're 
you're dead. to asses. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I'm getting into this game now. But... Hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the system, feel free to ask. I don't mind asking. Um, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.